The school reopening dashboard can be found on the COVID-19 Health Guidance for Tarrant County website. To view the dashboard in full screen, please click on this link. This dashboard was designed to provide schools and parents an easy way to view public health recommendations for their ISD and schools based on benchmarks set in the Public Health Guidance for School Reopening. There are three columns on this dashboard, the filtering column, the map column, and the data column. On the left, the filtering column provides drop-down filtering options by ISD and by high school attendance zone. Choosing an option on either of these filters will zoom the map and filter the data column to the selected geographic area. The left column also includes links to details on benchmark calculations and the Tarrant County COVID-19 dashboard. The center column provides a map at the high school attendance zone level. The map is shaded by the recommended learning scenario. Red represents virtual learning, yellow is hybrid learning, and green is in-person learning. To filter from the map, click on the geographic area of interest. A pop-up will show up in the, with the name of the ISD and the high school attendance zone. You can click on the third option on the toolbar below to zoom in on the map and filter the data table. The black markers represent the charter schools and public schools. We are currently working on including private schools as well. By clicking on one of the black markers, a pop-up will show the name of the school and the ISD as well as the address. The right column is the data tab and provides details on the recommended learning scenario and related benchmarks for the high school attendance zone the recommended learning scenario, and a description for the high school attendance zone. Then you can reference the benchmarks that contributed to the learning scenario recommendation. First is the case rate and trend. This benchmark takes into account the one-week county rate, ISD rate, high school attendance zone rate, and the four-week case trend. The next benchmark is COVID-like illness in Tarrant County, which takes into account the two-week trend. The third benchmark is hospital bed occupancy rate for lab-confirmed COVID-19 patients. This benchmark is based on the seven-day average of the occupancy rate and two-week trend. The last benchmark is percent positivity for COVID-19 tests in Tarrant County. This benchmark takes into account the seven-day average for positivity rate and the two-week trend. More details on these benchmark calculations can be found in this guidance document linked here. If all benchmarks are green, then the recommended learning scenario is in person. If they are yellow and green, then the recommended learning scenario is hybrid learning. And if even one benchmark is red, then the learning scenario is virtual learning. This dashboard is updated each Monday.